Okay, we're back out in the garage. Got the back of my vet up in the air. Right now, I was going to go over checking your uh, clutch packs in the differential. There's several videos and information on this, but some of them aren't accurate. What you need to do is got the vehicle up in the air. This is a quick test. We know the vets have a limited slip clutch type differential. But this test would apply to any vehicle that you're wondering if it's got a limited slip or a posse if it's a clutch type. You get it up in the air, put the transmission in neutral, and rotate one tire. See how the opposite tire is going the same direction? That tells you it's got a limited slip. If they were turning opposite directions, then you've just got an open diff. Like I said this applied to anything with a clutch type diff. So right now I'll pull the tires off and then we'll go to actually taking a torque reading on the breakaway torque for the clutch packs. We have the tires off. And this is one of the key parts is the transmission to test this has to be in neutral. Because uh, a lot of them try to test it in gear and that doesn't give you an accurate reading at all. What we need to do is lock down one wheel. Which I'm going to just put a screwdriver in there to lock this. See, that's the deal. If you've got it in gear, you've got one side locked. You're basically, you're, you're turning, you're trying to turn the engine over. Because the rotation has got to go somewhere. If it can't go to this side, then it's got to go through the drive shaft. And that's going to be hooked to the engine. So, lock one side down, transmission in neutral. Now we can go to the other side, put a torque wrench on it, and see what reading we get. All right, here we are. What you want to use is a beam type torque wrench so you can see a torque reading as you're rotating this. Got a socket here that fits the axle nut. And you rotate. And we are getting oh, about 30 pounds. Now these differentials when they are new, yeah, once it's broke free, it's dropping down. When these differentials are new, the clutches are new, that breakaway torque should be 100 plus foot pounds. So we know, well, I mean, this thing has got 200,000 miles on it. I knew the stuff was going to be worn. So I already have parts coming for it. This gives you an idea of how bad it is. What goes on is there is a Belleville spring. It's a spring washer inside the differential that puts preload on the clutch packs. And in the C5s, that Belleville washer is kind of small and weak, tends to break, and then you lose the preload. And with 200,000 miles, the clutch discs themselves are just worn. So, we'll go over, we'll put the screwdriver on this side, and I'll check the other side, see if it's the same. I went over and checked the other side. The breakaway torque is almost identical, so nothing is seriously damaged in the clutch packs. They're just worn. So, later on this winter, when the snow starts to fly, I'll pull the differential out and we'll completely rebuild the, or completely replace the clutch packs with the newer carbon fiber stuff out of the C6s and the new Belleville spring. But that's how you check it to get an idea. I mean, the 100 foot-pounds is new, so it's going to go down as they wear over time. So I think I'll take some readings, you know, anytime I have the wheels off after I've changed them just to get a kind of a baseline of how fast they wear. And that way, you know, if somebody's checking it and they're getting, you know, 60, 70 pounds, maybe that's where it should be after it's went for a while. But that's how you check it. Just make sure transmission is in neutral. Block one wheel, turn the other. Thanks for watching.